Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Dream back with another trucking video for you guys today. And it's been a minute since I've uploaded a video, but there's been a few things that have changed since my last video. One of them is I no longer work for the 99 account with JB Hunt. I still work for JB Hunt, but I'm actually at a different account now. And the reason why I stopped with 99 is because of the pay. I don't know if it was because of the time of the year that was like slowing down. I don't think so, but I was just getting shorter routes, you know, getting uh, these like local turnaround routes where you go home like almost every day. And at the end of the week, the pay just wasn't adding up. And I told dispatch like, hey, can you send me out to these farther locations so I could put in the miles, you know, I can make more money. And they were helping me out, you know. But still, like week after week, it, it looked like I was only working four days, because, like financially. So I told them like, no, I'm gonna start applying for other positions within JB Hunt. I don't wanna be switching around, going from company to company anymore, but um, let me do it again one last time with JB Hunt. So I applied for like Amazon, McLean, uh, Smart and Final, Zenith within JB Hunt. And after a few weeks of being on their wait list, I got a phone call saying, hey, we have an account for Zenith available for you. And are you still interested? They went over the details and they were telling me that the average driver makes about $105,000 a year. And at first I was a little skeptical, but I'm like, sign me up, you know, going from a job that averages 85,000 a year to 105,000 a year, that that's not too bad, you know? So I told them, sign me up. Um, right here at this account, they start you off at 69 cents a mile plus $20 every delivery, $10 every pickup, and you get like layover pay, you get like per diem, you get this and that, and everything was adding up, you know? Plus, like right now, I'm in a hotel uh, because I drive a day cab. So you can't sleep in a day cab, of course, and you get free hotels every time you're out on the road. You're on the road for maybe two to three days um, at a time per trip and you tend to do about two trips a week. So I'm working five days a week and it's going smoothly. You know, my last two checks were grossing over $1,900. And that's exciting, you know, after taxes and everything, it's still pretty good. 1,900 bucks, that's, it's close to the one, um, to the 105,000 a year. Um, I think I need to make a little over 2,000 to hit that 105, but it's doable. Way more than what I was making over there at the 99. So um, the work is not it's not tough. I mean, I'm not like a short, skinny person. I'm six foot, 200 and we'll leave it at that. And um, I have experience unloading furniture. So it's not new to me. You know, I've unloaded uh, couches before, mattresses and stuff like that. Even though in this account, we don't unload mattresses, um, but we do unload like couches, uh, you know, like tables, dressers, nightstands, all that stuff. And um, it's not that difficult. It's not that difficult, but I mean, to each their own, but I'm liking it. You know, I think I found a, a position where I'm finally comfortable with, you know, it is unloading, it's, it is touch freight, but maybe it'll get me more physical. You know, maybe I've been slacking off. All I do is eat. You guys can zoom in over there. That's my, my jack in the box right now. And all I do is eat. I'm gonna watch some Netflix. I just bought a new iPad and um, that's it, you know? <laughs> so, uh, I just wanted to update you guys. I don't want to make this video a really long video, but um, yeah, 1900 bucks gross, or a little more than 1900 bucks. And we average maybe 25 deliveries a week and pickups, dispatch adds it along the way. So it all adds up at the end of the week, but I am tired, I'm out of breath. I need to go freaking lose some weight, but I'll see you guys next time.